Hello, and thank you all for being here today on this historic occasion. My name is Adam Freeman. I'm the Director of Media Relations here at the University of South Florida. Uh, in just a moment, we'll welcome our USF System President, Dr. Judy Genshaft, to the podium, where she will deliver her remarks on her decision to step down, effective July 1st, before she takes some of your questions. After the Q&A, President Genshaft will be available for brief one-on-one -on -one interviews. Uh, and we'll also have members of the USF Board of Trustees and senior university leaders available for interviews discussing her impact and her legacy here at USF. Uh, please see me right afterwards and we'll go ahead and make those arrangements. And with that, I'm proud to introduce the sixth president of the University of South Florida, Dr. Judy Genshaft. Well, thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. And thank you for being here today. Um, we always appreciate the continued support of the University of South Florida. As many of you may have heard in my fall address only last week, USF is on a trajectory that is absolutely unprecedented. It's, it, it, never before have we achieved so much across so many different markers on so many different highly visible inter inter on the international stage as well. This year, as you all know well, we were named a preeminent state research university by the Florida Board of Governors. We were welcomed into the prestigious Phi Beta Kappa National Honor Society. We surpassed our $1 billion fundraising goal for our unstoppable campaign. And we reached a record high of $568 million in our research expenditures. In annual, these are the annual research expenditures. And we admitted our most accomplished freshman class in the university's history. We are uniting as a one strong university, and we continue to make an incredible impact on the region and the state, an impact of over $4.4 billion every year. Just today, we learned that USF has risen on the US News and World Report list of top public universities in the United States. And we went, leaped forward 10 points in that ranking for public universities. We're now ranked number 58 in the country among public universities, and that also is the highest that we have ever been ranked. It is because of this tremendous momentum, the high peak that the University of South Florida is on, and the new era that we are facing, that my family and my husband Steve is here with me today, and my boys, and we believe the time is right for me to step down from my post as president, effective July 1, 2019. And I know that the USF community around us, our strong leadership team, our great and supportive, fantastic board of trustees will ensure that we keep pushing forward as we reach even greater heights at the University of South Florida. Throughout my 40 year plus career in higher education, I've had the privilege of working with some of the finest educators and researchers at some of our country's most respected institutions. My career has taken me around the world, introducing me to so many fascinating people, places, and ideas. But of all the places and all the experiences, I can say without a doubt 
there is no place like the University of South Florida and Tampa Bay. Ours is a university that believes in pushing our own boundaries. Where other universities play, play, uh, place great emphasis on tradition, we instead embrace ambition. Always looking ahead, never becoming complacent. In my position, I've had the privilege of talking about USF out in the world all the time. I hear the praise, the ideas, and all the opinions about where USF is and where we are going. Recently, more than ever before, there has been a common refrain among the people I talk to about USF. They cannot believe how far we've come. They are quite frankly amazed. We are in a new era, a new era of preeminence and so much more. The progress that we've experienced over the past few years remind us what a bull is all about. Having the grit, the determination, the tenacity, the competitiveness, the boundless energy and optimism to charge into any challenge. That will never change. This is just the beginning of our university's potential. And I look forward to seeing what this new era will bring, watching USF surpass all expectations as we always do. At USF, we shape our own future. And on a personal note, um, Steve and I and my family want to say thank you to many of our friends, supporters, who have reached out to us to express their warm wishes upon hearing this news. USA and USF, USF, USA and USF, USF and Tampa Bay are truly a part of our family and our appreciation cannot be overstated. So thank you so much. It's all good. It, everything is great. And um, I look forward to spending the next 10 months uh, of my term continuing moving forward and charging ahead. And with that, I always end with go Bulls. And I'm happy to take any questions at this time. What do you think your legacy will be? Sir, sir, you had your hand up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Bill Dion from the Thank You Catalyst. Uh, it, I just wanted to ask, how long have you been thinking about this? And were you waiting for the preeminent designation? Is there something specific? That'll be enough, and then I'll do it. How long have you been thinking about this? Um, we've been thinking, my husband and I have been thinking about this um, since about May. We've been thinking about this. You know, it's really important to see the university reach all these heights and to move forward. Um, this, it's a very, very, very difficult decision. USF is a part of us. It's a part of our family. And um, intellectually, it's the right decision. It's the right time for me and my family. Emotionally, I'm a wash rag. <laughs> I'm a puddle. <laughs> it's very, very difficult, but it's the right decision. Are you planning on staying in the area? Yes, absolutely. We love Tampa Bay. We are staying in the area. Yes. I was wondering, after 18 years and you look back, what do you think your legacy will be? Well, you know, 
to take this university and to position it in such a way that it goes from um, when when I started, it was a, a really wonderful, a more of a regional institution into an elite, preeminent international research institution with great athletics, great everything, is um, it's quite an accomplishment. But there's so many, so um, I just am very proud of all of the team that that are in this room and beyond that have helped me and worked with me to get where we are today. I hope the next person has the same passion and drive and optimism that I have uh, and will always have for the University of South Florida. It is a phenomenal place in a best location as an urban institution. We're so relevant today. I just hope they, they embrace that, that, that vision to see it be all that it can potentially be and even more. I, I really, um, I'm going to be thinking about that, uh, but I have ten in about 10 months, so <laughs> stay tuned, stay tuned, but we are definitely not leaving the area, so. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We'll we'll have many opportunities to talk about what are the next steps. But right now, I'm focused on the next. I I have um, as of last week, I have a whole new set of goals that the board of trustees approved for me, and um, I'm going to be busy, as all of us in the room will be busy to reach those goals. Yes, there are many things. I would like to raise $100 million to start with. That's one of my goals. And I would like us to, to even reach higher research expenditures than we are reaching right now. I'd like to bring in the next best freshman class and, and medical school class and all. So we have a lot of... Um, a lot of goals ahead of us that help to position this university into one of the lead eligible for American Association of Universities. That's a really top-notch category. <laughs> I'm going to try to wrap up everything I possibly can at this point, but Again, stay tuned. I've got 10 months. I'll tell you at the end. <laughs> yes? Have there been any conversations so far about relocation? You know, um, I'm just making this announcement within 24 hours. I know that um, my leadership team and the board chair have been talking, and there is a process to follow, and always the 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 three points that we always say at USF, make sure there's a, a, a legitimate process that is transparent and inclusive. So I'm sure that the, the way the, the search will form will be with those three points in mind. Yes. You know, I, I've been thinking about the timing of this as well, and the fall address is a very, very key address for presidents around the United States. They give the fall address once a year, and this is a legacy. I wanted to make sure that everybody had the same um, vision and, and, 
and fervor about what's coming next without any distractions. And um, I, 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 the words w were very carefully chosen in the fall address. And so I hope people were able to hear what I had to say, both not only being there and listening to me, but also in writing. So um, this gives some time for the address to have sunk in. And now with the new era, it's, it's the right time to leave when things are at its peak at the moment. So yes, sir. Well, I'm a people person. I really, really value the students, and they know that. So it's a mutual exchange. And I care. I really do care about everyone on this campus, including everybody in this room, having a welcoming environment. To me, it's almost like going to uh, a country that you've never been to before and you don't speak the language. Having somebody help you find your way, you're going to have a better experience. You're always going to feel welcome, and there's a person to come to. Mm -hmm. To me, that is when you take an, a, a young person or any age and you bring them into a, a more foreign environment to them, for them, you want to make sure you're reaching out and you want them to have the best experience possible. We want them to have good interactions, be involved at the university, have uh, graduate in four years, and to love their experience here. So anything I can do to help them out, I will uh, reach out and help them. Yes. Absolutely, I'm not absent. I have 10 more months, and you know what that means. That means that I have, first of all, it's the law. So it is going to happen. Second of all, it's the right thing to do. It's right for the students, and it's right for the faculty and the staff. There are things that, you know, when there's ever any ambiguity, it causes a lot of nervousness and concern. But we're going to be working that out so that in spring, uh, the Board of Trustees will have had all the information and will be voting on the next steps. So it will be pretty much well, the plan will be done in the spring. So we're going to move forward as the law says we should, and it's the right thing to do. Yes, sir. You know, we, we are very, if, if you haven't noticed, it, in, throughout the entire university, we are metrically oriented. Everything we do is analyzed. Everything we do is followed. And we've been following this with great, um, uh, great rigor. And, um, you know, we're getting different types of reactions. But we're listening to everything. We're taking it all in. And um, the kind of response that we're hearing also is it's a great, great, exciting logo. Um, some are tweaking about whether or not the color is the right color. We're taking that all in. And um, we're, we always listen to, to our metrics. So stay tuned. Another one to stay tuned. Oh, I, we love it. Talk about the bulls. <laughs>